today. Look, everything we have here is from our garden. We have the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the wine. We are good to go and self-sufficient. Today is July 28th. I mean, this is the morning. Like we just woke up, so I apologize if I'm tired. If I'm blabbering or anything. Yesterday I got super excited about finding those two cucumbers, right? Oh, oh my God! At this bad boy right here. That is our first cucumber. Oh! <laughs> and Andrea came home last night. And what did you do when you came came home? I came and untangled stuff, and I found this bounty. Some this, this is bigger than my hand. Good God. Actually, that one's the size of my hand, but they're all bigger than my hand. And where, where were they? Because I... On the ground attached to vines. I hate you. <laughs> no, I was untangling vines, and I found them. So I picked them off. They're pretty healthy. They're spiny though, be careful. They are spiny, I think I that's weird. I forgot they were so spiny. In the like, store, they they've all hurt. been like rubbed up despined. against. Despined. Despined, yeah. yeah. When we eat these, we might want to peel off the mm -hmm. skin. I'd like to get them smaller too, because I think well, getting into- that's why I told you, pick you're the right. small ones if you want to. I didn't. Yeah. Because I didn't know how small was too small, and I didn't want to be mad. I, th I think like this is my favorite size of cute cucumber, like that, that big. When I say go, everybody whip out their dick and go, hey! Cukes? Yeah, that's Those what I... Those are, like, bred for it. Oh, so these I'm aren't the same thing. like, pick, pick a little one out there and see, but my feeling is it's going to be so condensed with seeds because it's supposed to get bigger and the seeds are supposed to spread out within the cucumber. Mm -hmm. That it might not taste as good or it might ah. not feel as good. Okay. So, but pick one and try because if you like it, you didn't miss out on all those baby cukes. Because it's true. They don't all need to get this big. I would put the little ones. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to make pickles too, but I don't know if I really want to or not. <laughs> I think we we don't have the pickling spices because those went bad. Oh, that's but right. We have like the jarring stuff. We can make some pickle chips. Okay. Slice these big ones up. Oh, that sounds like a horrible idea, but. Not chips, like crackers. Like, no, like I know, like slices. Like slices. What do you want? I want the, the whole ones? Yeah, I want the whole ones like about this big that can just be like. We'll go eat one and see how, if you like the inside uh, of it, good the idea. texture. Good idea. Let's pull them small and let's pick them. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. All right, well, good find on that. Did you eat your little tomatoes that I had out, out for you? I did. There's so much flavor. Were they good? Yeah. It tastes like summer. Little what did you think of it? Um, I didn't taste the spice too much. Really? Yeah, but it's got a nice flavor to it. It's yeah. Kind of, it is a little tangy. I guess I wouldn't say spicy, but it is tangy. It's Maybe sweet. the bigger ones. Try one of the, the bigger ones. ones. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so that's a pretty good up, 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 up update. Beefer. Look at that beefer. Beefaroni. Subtle clues your dog may want attention. Hi, Maggie. We decided to pick some of the cucumbers tonight and we sliced them up and we're eating them and they are delicious. Everything here is from our garden. Not the onions. Damn it. Over here we have some beans. Um, literally, I accidentally stepped on one of the plants and ripped it out and realized it was a bean plant. So I picked all the beans on the plant. Oh, nice. Took all those sashitos out that we picked yesterday and added tempura to them, right? Yeah, but it's a keto version because I don't have cornstarch and the okay. same gum did not hold. Well, keto tempura on sashito, and I'm a big fan of the red, red ones because they're a little hot, hotter. Um, and that's... Oh, damn it. Sorry, I'll clean that up. <laughs> uh, and that is this beautiful thing right here that I'm about to eat. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. I'll make sure I get the recipe from Andy and put the recipe down in the description. That is so freaking good. And it's light too. It's like surprisingly light. It's not like heavy fried. I got two sauces here too. Oh, what kind of sauces do you get? One's a ponzu and then this is that 
um, sesame dressing and like some Oh my god. Sesame dressing? Mm-hmm. The ponzu is very good on there. Oh, I bet. Mm-hmm. Ponzu? Like, this is getting me super excited now because we have a lot of sashito plants and they're like going crazy. So, I'm now ridiculously excited to eat these. Okay, so I'm gonna try one of these in the ponzu. Ooh, that one's sashito was hot. Hot sashito. Okay, there we go. Mmm. Like, it's so good. I don't wanna waste the little vegetable meat <laughs> around the stem. It's so good. Oh, okay. these ones are just sauteed. Oh yeah, I, I had a few like, like, like that. And oil with salt. Much, much, much later. So I watered the garden tonight and uh, saw that Andrea, but she thinned out the cucumbers a lot. I personally think too much. It does look nicer over there. I think they're gonna grow better over there. The thing about cucumbers, that I always forget is like when you plant one plant, you'll get like 30 of them and then after you eat like four, you're like, I'm good, I don't want any more. Like, that's why everyone and their brother gives you cucumbers all the time because they make a ton of them from your garden and no one wants them. Like, like I said, they're really good and when your cukes, like the little ones, like about this big, uh, and you chill them, oh my God, I can eat those all day. But when they get big, I don't know, flavor just kind of goes to hell. But check this out. These are my green onions that we were gonna throw away. And now we put them into water and now they grow and we just cut off a little when we need it. Forever green onions. Forever green onions. Uh, she did tell me that um, after a while they start to lose their potency. So like they're not gonna taste as good because if they keep growing, they're just not gonna taste as good. Um, but we'll see. I don't think I've gotten there yet. I have gotten to the point where you have to throw them away because they kind of get moldy. Yeah, it was it was our fault because we forgot to water it and it just got gross. But anyway, we're gonna eat dinner with our awesome sh- sashido sauteed sashido cow peppers, green and red. I'm a big fan of the red ones. The green ones, like they don't, I don't think they taste as good. But uh, the tempura ones, my god, I can eat those all day. Look. Everything we have here is from our garden. We have the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the wine. We are good to go and self-sufficient. Oh my God, that's a, God, it's crispy. That one's for Maggie. Yeah, okay. So you say goodbye, Andrea. Bye.